everybody. This is Bob from Buckeye Sports Center. Today we're going to take a look at the Axis A20 for 2023. Uh, so this is going to be Axis's 20-foot model. Uh, so the smallest boat in the line, we, we're looking at a 20-foot overall length. So if you have a lake restriction for you know under 20 feet or under 21 feet, this boat does uh, apply to that. Um, and, and what we're going to see here uh, is, uh, as we get into it, I'll get into some features, but this is kind of a unique boat in that this boat has all the cool stuff that the Malibu boat has for wake formation. Um, so we're talking about surf gate, we're talking about power wedge, you know, but in a really affordable small size. But in that small size, we've got the pickle fork up in the front, we've got a large bow as you just saw, um, and really a pretty roomy boat for a 20 foot boat. Uh, but having that kind of uniqueness of having some of those premier wake forming features this makes this boat probably one of the most affordable, if not the most affordable, premium wakeboard boat on the market. So let's take a look at, at what we got going on in the transom. Okay, so the key to this boat as far as wake formation and, and kind of that cool feature is that we do have, you know, the patented Malibu surf gate and we do have the patented uh, power wedge. Uh, this is the power wedge three. Okay, um, obviously we see the surf pipe in there as well. So that's pretty cool because the original Axis models did not have Surfgate, the original Axis models did not have the power wedge capability, and then they added the Surfgate to it, but then it was a manual wedge. Well, now we literally have the exact same setup as we have on the Malibus, um, so you can get into a $350,000 Malibu that essentially has the same technology as far as forming the wake that this boat has. Uh, so that's, that's pretty cool, and that kind of sets this boat apart from you know, other boats in this price range or this size range from other manufacturers because nobody else has that proprietary high-end technology. Most everybody else is gonna have some type of trim tab system, which works okay, you know, but this is kind of the gold standard, um, you know, for, uh, you know, cause it was the original system, you know, for, for forming the, for forming the, the wake and wave. So, um, you know, we see a nice uh, platform back here. The other cool thing about the A20 is we do have a couple built-in kind of setup seats or, you know, seats getting ready for action to boot up and get ready to go, um, which is kind of cool. It also acts as a step up into the, into the cockpit, into the cockpit area without having too big of a step. So let's take a look inside of the A20. So just a couple little things I'm gonna hit on for what this boat includes that a lot of times you might not find if you're trying to hit like a price point on a value oriented wakeboard boat. Um, you know, there's a few things I think are, that are pretty clear. First off, this is a 20 foot boat. I didn't, we didn't show it out there. You might've seen it in the, in, the, in the photos from the outside. We've got a dual axle premium custom trailer. So um, a lot of times a 20 footer will come with a single axle. So there's, you know, 1500 bucks worth of added value to the boat. Um, we've got a kind of nice stylish wake tower built in here, a nice aesthetically pleasing, certainly not crazy, crazy high end, but you know, considering what other brands are using as, as, their, as their basic wake tower, I think this is a really nice aesthetically pleasing one. This particular one's in the white color that kind of matches out the boat a little bit better. Um, you know, a lot of times you have only a choice of black on a more value oriented boat. Um, obviously we talked about the surf gate and the power wedge, which is included on this. Uh, we also have the swivel board racks. Again, a lot of times you're gonna see a fixed board rack on a boat like this. Uh, we do have two tower speakers and a bimini top included. Um, we've got a, uh, a little, you know, we actually have a little uh, uh, ski or two bar right here, which is included as part of the boat. Um, the other thing that, that is kind of a, a easy thing to overlook, but it is important in the grand scheme of things, is the engine that comes with this boat. So you know, we're going to pop up the storage compartment here, take a look at the engine. But this is, comes with Malibu's 5.3 DI engine. So this is the direct injection engine. So almost no company that I'm aware of is offering that as a standard feature on a value priced boat. So that direct fuel injection normally is a significant upgrade. So this is one of the GM 5.3 uh, liter um, engines. It's got uh, over 400 foot pounds of torque in it. Um, and you know, Malibu uh, marinizes it. They build the engine themselves. They call it a monsoon, but it is a uh, more efficient uh, better engine system than what everybody else is using out there. Um, you know, a lot of times you'll look and see like a 6.2 liter something and, you know, that's a good motor. It's been out for a while, but it's kind of the older technology uh, and it doesn't, it isn't quite as torquey as the new direct injections. It isn't quite as smooth as the direct injection engines. A lot of companies might offer the direct injection as an upgrade, but it's about two grand. So uh, you look at that as being a, you start adding up 
nicer tower, surf gate, power wedge, uh, direct injection engine, you know, and then we're starting to add up some of the features that are included here, and all of a sudden now you're saying, okay, this is, this is giving you some value here on this Axis A20. So we're gonna roll into some seating and storage here. Obviously in a 20 foot boat, we do have a nice amount of seating here in the cockpit. We do have a seat behind the driver, which sometimes on a 20 footer, you lose that seat. Uh, so that's kind of nice. Uh, we do have a, a sliding rear center seat that I'm sitting on right now that actually I can slide it all the way over here to create kind of a rear facing seat. There is optional backrest and stuff like that to it. But if you just wanna watch the action behind you, you can just flip over like this um, really quickly and easily adjust that seat. Um, the other thing I'll notice, we've got the recessed cup holder setups over here. We've got four cup holders on each side. Um, just kind of, again, out of the way, simple setup there. Uh, but when we open up the storage compartments, one thing I always like to point out, because uh, other brands don't do this, is that this is a carpet-free storage. So you can put wet stuff in there and you know other companies are still using carpet in their storage compartment, even on a boat that costs considerably more than this boat. Um, then we've got a nice observer seat with a large storage compartment, obviously for your bigger gear that kind of goes up underneath there, um, as well as that's where your amplifiers are located, stuff like that. Uh, we move into the dash area. And one thing that we noticed that's you know new for Axis is we do finally have a digital color screen that's off to the right, this Garmin screen over here. So a lot of your controls and stuff like that is controlled right there. We do have a uh, phone holder over to the left, which is pretty cool in modern design. Um, you know, lower profile dash, um, you know, a couple little spots for, you know, some non-skid areas. Uh, so, so that's one big improvement that Axis has made, um, is adding some of that digital stuff that you're gonna see on the higher end boats. Um, you know, they were, um, you know, one of the last companies to have that really decent sized color screen built into the boat. So, um, so that's pretty cool. Obviously all your switches and stuff like that are located. Either whatever you can't control with the screen is controlled over here. Um, we, we do have features like cruise control, obviously included on this boat. Um, all the bells and whistles for um, you know, the, the power wedge, um, being able to adjust the, the wake on the fly as far and then as well as uh, um, there's actually four different ballast tank options. So you've got two in the back, one in the center and one optional one in the front. So, so really a, a, po you know, a ton of uh, ballast in this boat when compared to other boats. We do also see a subwoofer built in underneath where my feet are, which is pretty cool. Again, another thousand dollar or so feature that you know might not be included on some more value oriented boat. So you know, really well set up dash area here um, on the Axis A20. All right, last area to talk about is the bow of the A20. And again, we talked about the space utilization that Axis does, and you know, this is awesome. You know, it easily can fit three adults up here. Um, you know, pretty easily. Uh, you know, tons of space up here. You know, maybe even four little kids can, can sit up in this area. You know, a couple things that they've done, they, they actually ad adjusted and made, this is the bow cushion up here, but they actually put the batteries, this boat comes with two batteries. They put these batteries up in the front now to kind of get some extra weight added up to the front so we're not so rear heavy like a lot of boats are. Um, so we have a little bit extra bow weight built in. There's storage underneath all three of these unless you opt for a ballast bag add-on. Uh, so if you wanted additional ballast uh, for the bow, you can add a bag that goes in underneath that kind of U-shaped around these three seats uh, for extra ballast. Um, you know, like I say, but with the standard, uh, with the standard ballast that come with the boat and potentially an optional uh, extra ballast, um, I mean, you may or may not need that ballast. Uh, that's up to you, depending on how many people you're gonna ride with, you know, what level of riding you wanna do. But, you know, in conclusion, you know, we're seeing tons of value in this A20. You know, getting something to get into a boat, you know, uh, you know, at a value-oriented price, maybe your first family's new wake boat. Um, you know, a lot of times you have the decision, okay, do I buy something like this or do I buy a five-year-old brand X boat that's pre-owned? All right, the nice thing is you get the newest and greatest in technology on this boat in this industry. Technology changes on a year-to-year -year basis and you're getting something that's new and current. Um, there's nothing on this boat that is considered kind of aged. Um, so when you talk about the digital dash, you talk about the power wedge, and the, uh, the surf gate, you know, the technology for the wake formation is pretty current. So, uh, you know, so ultimately, you know, I really, in a lot of ways, prefer the idea of getting a new boat with a warranty versus buying that five-year-old boat that's out of warranty. You know, who knows what the prior owner did with it. 
you know, you get the, the premium service from the Buckeye on this boat. So, um, you know, really it's a great value. And, and if you're looking for something to get into that wakeboard inboat, inboard market, you know, this is not a bad way to start. So thanks for checking out the 2023 Axis A20 with us at Buckeye Sports Center. For more information, to view our inventory, BuckeyeSportsCenter.com. Check out this video along with other videos for that we've made. We actually do videos on five different wakeboard brands, um, you know, including Axis. So uh, check those out on our YouTube page. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the water. Thank you.